Sydney. I feel like the genre of horror is starting to fall apart. I feel like we've gotten lost in this trap of jump scares and let's plays from YouTubers, which they're great. Don't get me wrong. I even enjoy watching them. But I feel like we're starting to lose what really makes a good horror game. Hello everyone, I'm Nightmare Culture. In this video, we're going to discuss what's going on with horror games. Is the genre dying? And how do we bring it back to life? I'm sure some of you have noticed most horror games nowadays rely so much on jump scares and let's play videos by popular YouTubers. They don't have the same atmosphere, tension, and story that made the classic so memorable. So in this video, we're going to explore that, talk a little bit about the history and evolution of horror games, and share my opinion on what makes a good horror game. I think one way, maybe a small way that games have changed is graphics, right? Horror games have come a long way in terms of visuals, the quality, realism. I mean, we've come from pixelated horror games like 3D Monster Maze in 1982 to a more graphical amazingness of Resident Evil 7. Horror games have improved their ability to create this immense and detailed environment. However, graphics alone don't necessarily improve the ability to create that environment. They don't exactly give the game a scare factor or make it even that much more intense. In fact, some of the most terrifying horror games have used simple or stylized graphics to create a sense of dread and unease. For example, we have Silent Hill 2 which in 2001, which is one of the best horror games of all time, and it just used fog and darkness to obscure the player's vision and create a sense of isolation and vulnerability. For me, Friday 13th on the NES is one of the best horror games, and look at it, it's an 8-bit mess. Jason Voorhees is purple and green in the game, or teal color. But yet, the atmosphere was pretty intense, and it kind of felt scary. You have a game like Amnesia, The Dark Descent, that came out in 2010, which used a low polygon style and a dynamic lighting system to create a dark and oppressive atmosphere. And of course, a game that forced the players to avoid direct confrontation with the monsters and hide in the shadows, which increased that scare factor and that tension and fear. I just feel like horror games are not the same anymore because we become so reliant on jump scares and let's play videos that we've reduced the impact originality of the genre. And of course, that takes away from compelling stories and unique atmospheres. I mean, why do we like to overuse jump scares anyways? Is it because it's an easy way to create a shock effect? It gets a reaction from players and makes them immediately think this game's incredibly scary. However, all these jump scares feel cheap and lazy, and especially when they're not supported by a good story, atmosphere, or gameplay. Jump scares can lose all their effectiveness over time as the player becomes more basically desensitized and kind of knows when the jump scares are coming, so it becomes a, a little bit of a boredom. I just think horror games should use jump scares sparingly and strategically, and only when they serve a purpose in the game's narrative or designs. Jump scares should never be the main source of horror, but rather a complement, or like a side dish, or an element to it. That's why I think games such as The Quarry, Alan Wake, Alan Wake 2, which is incredible of a game. If you didn't see my top three videos, you'll understand I love this game. And like games Until Dawn that have a compelling story. Now it's not to say there's some great games like asymmetrical horror games, but I believe that is a genre all of its own. Those are more of such a fun factor with less jump scares because really it's asymmetrical. You're not really going to involve too much jump scares, it's more of a tension grabbing game. So I want to see more games like The Quarry, like Alan Wake 2, I want to see more games that companies come in and say, what is the story first? And then work backwards into the horror. That's why I'm so excited to hear that we're getting a ghost face game or a scream game that's developed by Supermassive who made the quarry until dawn and the dark anthology series. That to me says we're going in the right direction. I just don't want the, the horror genre to die on itself or really become a laughable jump scare tactic in order to bring people viewerships on YouTube channel. Again, like I said, I still watch those YouTubers do let's plays of those scary games, but I do feel like it could eventually kill the genre. Now this is all just my opinion. It's just more of a rant. I want to know what you guys think. Do you think the horror genre is not the same as it was maybe five years ago? 
Do you think Let's Plays have made it a little worse? Or am I completely off and horror genre is amazing it's going to even get better? Let me know all this in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, then do me a huge favor. Give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.